Okay, ladies, here's tagging 101. First, you need to get your consigner guidelines. These are available on Big Tent. Print them out. Please read through them. They'll help you know how to tag, what not to tag. Um, gather everything you need, hangers, zip ties, or curling ribbon to tie things together, your tagging gun or your safety pins, however you want to attach your tags. Uh, make sure your safety pins are larger than one inch, not the small gold ones. Those don't work very well. Your tags, you can print them out many different ways. Just look on Big Tent. Um, red pen, remember if you mark it with a red pen, it will not be sold for half price. Um, you can use painter's tape or masking tape to attach your tags. Um, you can use um, clear packing tape, but this is just to seal things up, to attach things together. Do not use that for um, securing your tags. Um, I also have a um, hole punch. That is, if you're attaching your tags with a safety pin, you want to go ahead and punch a hole um, and put your tag through one time, one hole. Don't do two holes with your that makes it too hard to come off um, let's talk about your clothing uh, make sure that um, the hanger goes to the left it looks like a question mark when you're looking at it put the tag on the left shoulder this time um, I used a tagging gun so make sure when you do that that you put it through the seam and not the garment that sometimes can tear it when we tear the tag off now if you notice on my tag I was very specific it's nice if you put um, obviously the size um, the brand the color and what it is um, that helps the, um, the tags if they get lost we try to match them up and obviously if it's got all that information it's going to be matched up really well um, this is um, some clothing that is in a package um, I went ahead and attached it to a hanger um, I find that things like these sell a little bit better when they're hung with the regular clothes because sometimes people find what they want on the racks and don't always make it over to our bins um, any kind of hanger is okay. We have here a wire hanger that you can get from your dry cleaners, and I've bent it down so that it doesn't stretch out this newborn outfit. Um, if you have two pieces that you want to sell together, I just safety pin them together here on the back, um, put the pants on the back. Now, if, if this was um, one-sided, I would put the front side out so that all they have to do is turn it around, and they're seeing the front of the pants and the front of the shirt. Um, if you have like bathing suits, things with these little bitty straps, try to get these types of hangers that will hold it here. If you don't have that, you can still use your wire hangers. Just be sure and put a safety pin there to keep it on. You don't want your things falling on the floor. You can also use wire hangers for um, pants if you secure it the same way to the top of the hanger, not to the bottom of the hanger, but to the top of the hanger. That'll keep them from sliding off. You don't want your items falling in the floor because they won't be sold. Shoes, um, we use again the zip tie or the um, curling ribbon to tie them together so they don't get lost and then I use the tagging gun to stick it through you can tape the tag to the bottom you can um, use your safety pin you could even punch a hole and put it through the curling ribbon um, here is a travel swing if it's got fabric on it at all anywhere I recommend using your safety pin or your tagging gun to put it on that way versus using the tape that way um, it's sure not to come off um, this is a crib toy I put the tape on now when you're using tape to put tags on an item make sure that you use the tape either two pieces vertically two pieces horizontally don't use four pieces of tape to tape it on all four sides now the other thing you can do is tape two corners this works really well it makes it easy remember you're t you're taping this down you're putting it on what we want to do is be able to remove that tag quickly and we want to keep the tag intact do not ever tape over the price or your consigner number um, just in case that gets torn we will still have that information we need that for you to get credit this is a book try to tape it on the front if it's going to cover something up then turn it over and tape it on the back um, if you can't do that then tape it to the front cover um, if you've got a group of books you want to put together just tape them all together tape all the way around it um, and, and notate on the tag how many are going together this is a play gym I kept the, the, t the package this works really well because it's got lots of little pieces in there if you didn't have the package I would say something like this go ahead and put it in a clear plastic bag a clear trash bag and seal it up real well again um, the um, two pieces of tape this is a blanket um, I folded it up really well you could stick this down in a ziploc bag or I taped it up you could also use your curling tape and tape it and 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 wrap it like a package and then I used um, again it's fabric so I used the tagging gun to put the tag on um, let's see here's a hat 
This hat I just attached with the tagging gun to the to the tag on the inside. That's going to go in a bin um, at the sale. Here are puzzles. Puzzles are really tough. The best thing that I found to do is to put the tape, masking tape, across all the pieces and you can see they're really secure. Or if you want, you can just put it in a Ziploc, make sure that it seals. If there, if there are pieces missing, you need to go ahead and notate that on the tag. Um, here's baby toys. If you've got a bunch of little toys like this, it's best if you just go ahead and put it in one Ziploc and um, put one price on it. That seems to sell a little better and that way you're not tagging quite so much. Um, here's an item that I have that is an Ion um, gaming system. Nobody really knows what it is. So I went on online and printed out. This is um, has a description as well as a price. If you've got something that's a little bit high dollar and people might not know what it is and you kind of want to prove what the price was because you're asking a lot for it, that's a really good way to do that. Just tape it to it. Um, attach it to it somehow and that way um, people will know what it is because at the sale they're not really going to be able to look that up. We do accept car seats at our sale. Um, one thing you need to do is when you go to the guidelines, the last page there is this car seat liability release. You need to have this attached with the tag when you come Friday night. Um, so you need to print that out yourself and you need to fill it out. This is the date manufactured. We need to have that on there, the car seat make, the car seat model. You can find the date manufactured. If you turn the car seat over, here's one right here. Turn it over right there. It says manufactured in 09 June of 07. Do not use after 09 June 13. Now we need to have at least 12 months left before the car seat expires. Um, so this one's good. It's 09 June 13. Um, if a lot of the car seats don't have a use after date, do not use after date and expiration date. So it's either five or six years. Um, some of the European brands are 10, um, but you just want to look that up and see um, when it expires. And make sure again, it's got 12 months left on the um, expiration date before it expires. Um, we also, I have two um, headrests here that I attached with the tagging gun. Don't leave anything um, just flying around hanging separately because it's likely to get lost in the rush of the sale um, and it's not going to get with your item. Um, here's a bumbo seat. Try to attach your tag. Again, two vertical, two horizontal pieces of tape. Try to attach it to the top so that nobody has to turn the item over or to the side. Not really on the bottom if you can help it. Here is a um, diaper bag. Again, just attach the tag with safety pin or tagging gun on the outside. And I tucked in the um, strap so that it doesn't get in the way of um, it being on the shelf. Here is an item. It's four or five pieces. It's a table and four chairs. Um, I went ahead and notated that on the tag and then I put one of five pieces. On each chair, I turned a tag over so that it's not going to be used as the regular tag. So they only pull this one tag for pricing, um, detagging. And then these, they know if this if this zebra somehow gets you know lost um, in the on the sales floor and it's not with the table, they'll know not to sell it by itself. That it's two of five pieces and it goes with the table. Um, I did the same for the others. And then another thing that you want to do is um, for a high dollar value item, you want to you know that we do um, sell the item if the tag is missing. So what you want to do on your items is take a little piece of masking tape, um, put the price and your consigner number. You can put a little description, but that's not necessary. That way, if the tag goes missing up here, then we will know whose it is and how much it's supposed to be sold for. And um, that way we can make a new tag for it and you can get your, your, your um, money for it. Otherwise, you just don't get credit because we don't know whose it was. Um, happy tagging, everyone.